welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. And in today's video, we've got a great ball. Guys, it, it's a great ball. Like, it's a Pokeball. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, it looks just like Pokeball, right? I mean, it's round. It's a circular spherical ball. And it's meant to catch Pokemon. But we're not catching a Pokemon. Today, we are catching Mecha. Godzilla. This is the most recent version of Mecha Godzilla, and I get a funny feeling that these hands can spin. That's what I would have done. Am I looking there nice and tight? Yeah, I think the hands might be spin. And there's missiles coming out of his shoulder, and his face is doing the Dr. Octagonopus blah. And he glows, and he's got probably has the spinny bits on his tail. This guy probably spins a lot. Here we go. Against the Great Ball. Can the Great Ball catch him? You gotta catch him! Oh, no. Well, on the plus side, at least we know the hand spin. And the shoulder thingy spin. And he has fleshy... Why does Godzilla have fleshy arms? I'm a little bit concerned. Not gonna lie. And the tail does a stabby stabby. That's... That's kind of creepy. I feel like we need to give the Pokeball a chance to, like, do its job. So we're gonna have it go against a little T-Rex. And maybe, just maybe, it will catch the T-Rex. No. <laughs> no, it's, it's useless. <laughs> the Pokeball is... You I was hoping there'd be like a laser coming out of the hole there. Nope, it, it's just a ball. That's, um, that's amazing. Wow. Now, what is amazing is this Mecha Godzilla. And I'm not done testing him. We're gonna put him against another new unit, Gigantosaurus. But, um, not gonna lie, Gigantosaurus is not that gigantic. He's actually, um, kind of small. Okay, this Mecha Godzilla's got some power. Um, Gigantosaurus, you're not nearly big enough. Not gonna lie. All right, Mecha Godzilla. Did you ever play Beyblade as a kid? I mean, when when you were a kid, did you play Beyblade? Because I played Beyblade as a kid, you know? Um, were you ever a kid? Or were you born that way? This looks like a Beyblade. It's a spinning death thing of death. And there's a lot of teeth on it. And I'm, yep, it spins. But it doesn't move. So Mecha Godzilla is just going to approach it. Drop the missiles on it. Drop the beams on it. It's alive, though. The, the spinning thing's still alive. Here it comes. Mecha guns. Oh, it's not powerful enough. The spinning rotation is not strong enough. Did like I was hoping it would send Godzilla flying, but here we are. Mecha Godzilla just unleashing on this thing. Oh, it actually beat Mecha Godzilla. Are you kidding me? And it still has so ow. Uh, uh, ow. Okay, my my face. It's still so much HP. Look. I can get under it. It's like tapping my head. <laughs> Let me out. I'm just a cameraman. I mean, what's the worst that can happen right now? You know what I mean? Like, what's the worst that can happen? I just want to see a bunch of humans go in close to this thing and get completely... Just, no, there's too much human flesh. There's... <laughs> the humans are short enough to get underneath. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. There we go, it's starting to spin up. And then as soon as it catches the head of one of them, it just kind of does the damage. But actually, it, it's not like killing the humans. They're kind of surviving the merry-go-round of doom and not nearly dying as fast as I was expecting. Like, these humans are too durable. If I took a spike to the skull, I'd be dead. I don't know, boy. Oh, okay. Human flying by. That's what I wanted to see. We need bigger humans. See, this is what we needed. We just needed bigger humans. And I want to see them go flying. Come on, full speed. Full speed, yes! Get them and send them flying. Just ruin their day. Oh, it's beautiful. Stand up, stand up, get yeeted. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. I wish its turning power was better. I want to send a Godzilla flying, but no. Guys, this is Cthulhu. I have to say, he's actually more legit looking than I expected. Cthulhu, looking good over here is Shigara Madala from Monster Hunter. Also kind of legit looking. Neither of them seem to be super big. I play a lot of them. Oh my god, they both fly. Okay, Cthulhu versus Shigara Madala. And Shigara Madala's got a purple beam of death. And Cthulhu doesn't seem to have any beam. And Shigara Madala's got Cthulhu by the wing. I haven't had an aerial fight in ages. Everything I fight with has been on the ground. They've all been huge. Too big to do any flying. And C Cthulhu is not flying very well. He's kind of flying upside down with Shigara Madala doing most of the work, grabbing Cthulhu around the wing with his teeth, not letting Cthulhu fly well. Can't tell who's winning this so far, though the breath weapon of Shigara Madara continues to deal damage to the wings of Cthulhu. 
Oh, there it is! Cthulhu exploded in his reign of green death and was cast down to the earth. Shigara Madara. Be Cthulhu. Oh, look, we have another death machine that spins. And this time there's harpoons and more spinny bits. Look at this. Spinning fists, spinning spikes, spinning skewers. It's like a merry-go-round. It's like a little Ferris wheel with swings on it and humans get attached to the swings and everybody swings around in circles. Look, look how much fun. Look how much fun these guys are having. They're having so much fun. <laughs> I love this creation so much. Oh my God, what have we done? What have we created in this game? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Let's get a whole boatload of these humans around this thing. I want to see them just go and do ridiculous things. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> humans going flying around this giant machine. That's just gorgeous. Let's just let it go more. Go spin, skewer things, send them flying. <laughs> uh, oh, imagine being one of these poor... Poor humans attached to the end. Look, look at this guy. Look at him. He's just attached by his foot. And he's just spinning in circles by his knee. By his shin. Oh my god. And the fists from the boxing gloves are plunging. It's just... It's fantastic. You know what? We need more humans. I'm not kidding. Or hell, instead of just humans, how about some polar bears? Let's throw some polar bears in there. And you know what? How about some gorillas? Add some gorillas. Just like that. Let's watch the mayhem happen. The spinning. Oh, there's almost enough flesh to slow down our spinny thing. But look at the death going on in here. Oh my god, I got hit in the face by a human. <laughs> there's just so much going on. Oh, <laughs> there's bears attached by the harpoons, and they're spinning in circles. But you know what? That's not the end. We have the Tyrant Reaper and the Tyrant Devastator, two robotic creations. Look at this thing. It was beautiful with all the glowing lights. Look at this thing. It's beautiful as well with the, the spike penis. It's just terrifying. Let's see what these robots can do as they unload on each other. Machine go okay, the Devastator's stronger. This guy's, guy's way stronger. It's quite the epic robot. This game, man, this game is just so good.